Well, the city of Cape Town, meanwhile, says uh, one of its service providers responsible for the cleaning of container toilets in informal settlements in Cryfontaine and Wallace Dean has received extortion threats. The city says it has contended with at least 14 extortion incidents between April 2013 and November 2024. Cape Town Water and Sanitation MMC Zahid Badruddin joins us now for an update. Zahid, a good, a good evening to you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I think that when we talk about extortion, people may not actually get a picture of what we're, what we're talking about. I want to bring up a letter that was received um, and sent to either yourselves or your service provider, and we'll clarify that in a moment. But I want to bring it up on the screen and people can see it. This is what it reads. Good day. We as protection guys, we want your truck to pay protection fee here in Cryfontein. And listen to the threat. Otherwise, your truck will not work again here in Cryfontein. Thank you. And obviously, at the end, they contact numbers that are given, so you better respond to them or else is the sense of that letter. Zahid, what are we looking at here? Good evening. Yeah, good evening to you and your viewers. Uh, what we're looking at is actually quite a serious threat, not only to the continuity of service delivery in our informal settlements, but also the ability of a municipality to undertake large capital projects, which we also uh, is a space in which we experience extortion. You've read just one letter that we've received. Uh, a few weeks ago, we received another similar type letter where actually the figure of 30,000 rand was demanded uh, from our contractors in order to access the communities where they were undertaking critical basic service uh, delivery in terms of being able to clean some of the sanitation services that we offer uh, in these spaces. So, Actually, what we're experiencing more and more of, especially in the water and sanitation space, is this threat to service delivery by individuals in vulnerable communities that only expose our poorest of poor residents to more, uh, more difficult circumstances as a result of these threats and, and greed and criminality, uh, which is what it is. Okay, let's, 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 let's talk about the community of Cryfontaine and other communities that are impacted? Because I'm imagining toilets that have not been cleaned. I'm imagining the smell and all I think is the indignity of it all, Zahid, right? So let's, what's the impact of all of this? How big of a community are we talking about? Absolutely, the indignity and also health risk to these residents. So we offer a four-day uh, cleaning service usually uh, to our communities and also we employ EPWP janitors uh, that go in and clean these toilets in the communities as well. In the instance of Wallace Dean and Cryfontaine uh, as a whole, there are almost uh, about eight different informal settlements that have been impacted by these threats. It means then that, unfortunately, we have to send our teams in with additional safety resources, more law enforcement, more private security, which has an additional cost impact uh, and on our ability to deliver the service. And unfortunately, it then means that in order for us to accommodate these, these increases in the operational costs, we've needed to reduce some of the cleanings by one day and also send in more uh, law enforcement, as I've mentioned. This ultimately has an impact on the dignity, which you've uh, referred to, uh, something that our may insist that we uh, in, ensure is, is in our in our communities where yeah. these services are provided. And it's something that we're now working even harder to try and maintain as a result of these threats. Okay. Um, and of course, there needs to be a bigger discussion around how this is being dealt with. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but I can assure you that we will be following up on this matter and, and speaking to the very relevant uh, role players. But thank you so much for bringing us the, the latest there.